Hey there, this is Sarah Bailey, and I want to show you a really cool way to create meme quotes or inspirational quotes, success quotes, whatever, on really cool images using a free tool. So I'm going to go to Google Images, and I'm also going to use Canva.com, and if you've not used that before, I'll give you just a quick little training on how to use that, okay? Because sometimes you don't want to put image quotes up on Facebook or other social media if there might be a copyright violation. So I'll show you what you can do so that you don't um, get yourself in trouble, okay? So I'm gonna start with Google Images. So you go to images.google.com and I'm gonna type in success quotes. And there are so many great ones here, but like if somebody else has a quote like their own site, like success.com, you know, I don't wanna take their exact image and their quotes. So what I could do is take a quote and put it on my own image and that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to find something simple that we can use. I'm going to use, okay, I'll use this one. It's pretty simple. Uh, from success.com. Don't wait for opportunity, create it. And there are other ideas over here too. So if you've not gone to Google Images before, there are a ton of things that you can find. So now I'm going to open up a new tab and I'm going to go to canva.com and you can create a free account there, okay? These are other images that I've made uh, recently and um, what you can do is you could do a square image for social media which is great for Instagram which also works on Facebook you could do a Facebook post which is a little bit more rectangular a Facebook ad there are so many things you can do here so I want to create a new design so I'm gonna pick the social media square one and what was our quote don't wait for opportunity to create it alright you know what I'm gonna go with something scenic let's pick mountain And you could filter out like to just photos if you want or just illustrations, but really the filter I want is free only. So I don't want to pay for an image. Things that you want to watch out for when you're doing a quote, like this image is probably not a great image because it has blue and gray and white and shades of gray, and it would be hard to see some different font colors on that. So I would pick something where it's more of a solid color. So look at all these choices we have. So like this one with the rock climbing or the, the climbing here might be great for like overcoming obstacles, something like that. Um, that's up in the sky. Yeah, I could use that one, but no, I don't want to use that one. I'm going to use this one. Okay. So now what I want to do is go over to the left and grab text. Now, usually there's a spot where you can select a heading or a subheading, and I don't see that right now. So I'm just going to grab this one, this brunch and I could change the font size and style and color. So first I'm gonna get rid of this stuff. Oops. All right, I'm gonna get rid of this. I don't want that. So I believe the quote was, don't wait for opportunity. And I'll change the font size in a second. Create, oops, create it. So that is too big, so I don't want that size, so I'm going to bring it down. Let's try that. I think I'm going to keep it black, but I want to change the font style. Look at this, all these choices you have, and different style fonts will send a different kind of message. Like, the <laughs> there's this one, this one called Edo, which is fun, but it's not great for this kind of thing that you want to, I don't think that it sends the message that I want to send. Okay. So I'm going to pick a different one. I think I'll use a Leo on this one. Don't wait for opportunity to create it. See? Great. Done. Um, I can make my font just a little bit smaller so it doesn't go all the way to the edge. I'm going to pick 52. Let's see what happens with that. Good. Okay. So now I want to take this image and I want to put it on Facebook. So what I'm going to do, because I like to save my images, I'm going to use jing.com, J-I-N-G.com, and it's a screen capture tool. And I love this. And this jing.com is also free. I'm not going to make it quite so long. And I always come just a little bit inside the image so that I don't get like the white around the outside. Don't wait for opportunity. I'm going to save it. And I have a folder for image quotes, and I'm going to save that. So let me just make sure I got the right quote. Don't wait for opportunity to create it. Okay, cool. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to Facebook and I'm going to post it. 
and I'm gonna, it's always good to like write something. Do you agree? Even if it's only just a quick little sentence or something, or maybe you wanna write something that might, you might have learned from a personal growth and development book you've been reading, something inspirational for people. Um, but because I'm just showing you how to use the tool, I'm not gonna do that right now, but I'm gonna upload the video, and there it is right at the top. Don't wait for opportunity. And then I'm gonna click post. So see how fast that went up? All right, if I was to redo this again, I think I might pick a font and make it a little bit smaller. That looks like <laughs> it's a little bit in my face, but that's okay. So at least you understand the process. So you would go to Google Images, you find the quote that you want, and then you go over to canva.com, you click on create a design, and you're gonna pick one of these, and then you will, um, Search images like ocean, there are so many, and I want free ones, so I would select for free only. And look at all of these that you could use, okay? Even bubbles, bubbles is a fun one. Okay, there are cool images, like I used this image for one, one of my quotes, and that was really cool. So there are lots of th different things you can do with canva.com. And then, like I said, I use that tool called Jing, J-I-N-G.com, you can, it's created by TechSmith, but you can just Google jing.com and, you know, just download that, that tool and you can use it. All right, so that's it for today. If you have any comments or questions, please post them below. Feel free to reach out to me and you can also find me over at my blog at sarahdbailey.com, S-A-R-A-H. I'll just tell you right here. How about that? <laughs> I'll show you my blog. SarahDBailey.com. There we go. And I'll make it a little bit smaller. So come find me over at my blog. And I would be happy to answer any questions that you may have. All right. So that's it for today. I will talk to you soon. Have a super fantastic, awesome, awesome day.